Welcome back. Y'all know this is where it's at. It's Poetry Week here on Pacific Beach Street. You got the hot feet, so I'ma drop a beat that'll leave you in the back seat. You can take your bike and you can take a hike, cuz I can do whatever I like. Yeah, I'm so good at this poetry thing. I'm gonna go join the South Auckland Poetry Collective. Poetry Collective speak about the world from an Asian perspective and what do they do and why do they do it? Spoken lyrical delights, I'ma take you to it. Boom, boom, we're in the basement, y'all, let's go. Safe and snug at Nan's in a world where the cupboards were never empty. Sitting on her knee and always enwrapped in her warmth and safety, this half makes me smile. Guys, we're here with Darren and Grace. They're two of the co-founders of the South Auckland Poetry Collective. What's up, guys? Good, good. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> what made you guys want to get this off the ground and get that word out there? Um, it started in 2007 as a youth line program for young people. And um, we got some funding from Manukau Council to take a group of young people to the Splore Festival 2008. You're like my mango tree in spring just waiting silently for you to harvest so that I may eat your fruit. Can you kind of give us a definition of what poetry actually is? For me, poetry is, I think, the best way for me to express myself. Storytelling, yeah. yeah. So I do songs, but I do it in poetry form before I put into a song form, like... Back in the days, the days of dawn raids and calls, you can take away my home, you can never take away my memories. My forefathers traveled the Pacific seas. I think of poetry as it tells a story, you know, and like you can kind of get the vibe and the feeling of what someone is going through or what they're trying to explain. My definition of strength, beautiful hibiscus, radiant skin of resistance. Now, do you notice there's a common theme in what you guys are speaking about in your poetry? Personal experience is definitely one. Some of our poets um, talk about quite controversial topics, but they're very straight up and they're just reality for young people, things that they go through. Coming home with hickeys on your neck, saying you got bitten last night while you were sleeping. Do you think Pacific Island and Māori youth have a special gift when it comes to the spoken word? Definitely, I think so. There's always something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> or someone to yeah. talk about. As Pacific Islanders, or forefathers, you know, spoken word was a way of telling our story, you know? That was how it was done. It was all oral, eh? not, <laughs> not written. But as I dare to speak, my tongue flips out and trips me up and I'm face down on the ground. I am embarrassed that I am a disgrace. Girl, you ain't even a race. The lighter side of brown left questioning who I am. Because there's such dynamic personalities in our mm. crew, we, we just really we encourage stuff, yeah. them to be that personality, you know? That's you, you can speak who you are and... Happy. Sometimes defined by the terms of... Honestly, who? Are you serious? Oh, yeah! What does being involved with this collective give you guys personally? It just makes me really um, humble and really proud of our young people. Because you see, I'm fed up with the disguise of the stereotype, living up to expectations where limitations are far beyond realistic. Do you think I'll be able to like come out with you? Girl, you can bring it. Girl. You can introduce You can intro us. our group. And... <laughs> I've been really inspired to become a poet, even though I didn't know it. No. <laughs> so this is a little tribute to the South Auckland Poets Collective. I'm proud of you, inspired by you. Envious of you, I feel you. The heart of what you speak about, what you know about, what you be about. I know that's where I want to be. Charlie Ash are an electro glam pop group. They've just released their first EP titled Can Can, and they're all about reviving the 80s sound. So let's find out why, and is there actually a Charlie in the group? Here they are now. What's up, my people? Music. New Zealand, the boys and girls of Charlie Ash, welcome to our whale. I thought today we'd pay tribute to the past by heading down to our local flea market. You can each pick up something that you think captures the spirit of Charlie Ash. Seize it. Let's go. What's up, girl? You oh, found yeah. anything good there? Did, I did find this. 
Blue denim, very in at the moment. Very 80s as well. <laughs> Whose idea was it to, to go for the 80s look? I think that was a bit of a, um, a brainchild of uh, mine and Rosie's. And uh, we kind of like formed um, out of love for electro pop music and yep. um, Gem and the Holograms, which is like this 80s cartoon. Gem. I so Julia remember Gem. Regis. Oh, might be a bit big, eh? Bit big. You reckon? Maybe I should try it on. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you reading there, bro? Uh, Manhunt. Manhunt? <laughs> <laughs> Should I be scared? It's a classic. And how did you guys hook up? Yeah, I met the girls when they moved up to Auckland. I just saw an ad on some website or something, and auditioned, and that was a couple of years ago. One accomplishment that you guys have as a group is New Zealand's first ever 3D music video for AHA. Yeah. What was the concept behind that? I don't, I don't really know how they did it, yeah. or how. It's cool though, you know, it's yeah, 3D. It is cool. Benjamin, what's oh, up, hey, man? How's it? And where does the name Charlie Ash come from? What you uh, it's actually an old slang for cash. We thought, you know, cash is good. We want the money. I hear you guys are heading over to Europe. Yeah. Can you tell us a bit about that, bro? We're actually, we've got a support gig with uh, Lady Hawk over there. Lady Hawk, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've just been booked for a festival called The Great Escape. Mm -hmm. So that should be a bit of fun. And uh, Berlin and Amsterdam as well, I think. Here is $10. Oh, sweet. Good luck with whatever it is you're trying to find to capture that Charlie Ash. So the money does come along eventually, eh? Eventually it does. My girl Rosie, how's it going? Yo, Holmes. What do you? Th oh, Holmes, <laughs> homie. Now, Rosie, who writes the songs in your group? Me and Mayday kind of write um, kind of the, the basis of everything, and then I take it to the boys, and they like we, we kind of jam it out together and yeah. flesh it out and kind of perfect it mm -hmm. as a little group. I just couldn't come home tonight. Crept in my bones and held on tight. All right, well here, guys, show me what you bought. Oh, well, I bought some uh, titles. Yeah, well, I need I need to learn some things about romance, so I'm going to read these books. Well, I got this awesome gold shoe, and it's actually a bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, this this t-shirt here, and the thing I really like about it is that it's a crop top, so I can wear it and I can reveal my midriff. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, it's a money tree. I, I don't know if I quite believe it, but uh, apparently, it's going to make me rich and famous. So. And I thought I'd get this jacket anyway because I don't want to be the old one now. Guys, it's been wicked hanging out here with you guys at our local flea market. Can we head back home and hear some of that music? Sweet yes. ass. Charlie Ash! Woo! Thank you to everybody for everything. We love you. Log on to our website to win some free stuff or watch us 24-7. On demand, baby. It's Charlie Ash! Yeah.